Good day to everyone. Welcome to my class. The learning competency solves problems involving factors of polynomials. Expectations Analyze the given situation in the problem. Choose the correct method of factoring. Apply the rules of factoring polynomials and solve problems involving factors of polynomials. Points to remember for factoring polynomial expressions in word problems. First, read and analyze the problem. Second, know all the given and what is asked. Third, determine the factoring technique applicable to the problem. Fourth, solve by applying rules of factoring polynomials. And, use the factors obtained to answer the question completely. Let's have an example. Problem involving common monomial factor. What is the length of a rectangle with an area of 3x squared plus 30x square units, if the width is 3x units. First, analyze the problem, and then identify the given. Area is equal to 3x squared plus 30x, and the width is equal to 3x. Then, identify what is being asked, which is the length. Then, recall the formula for area of rectangle. Area is equal to length times width. Factor 3x squared plus 30x using common monomial factor. Let us factor 3x squared plus 30x. Get the greatest common factor of the numerical coefficient, which is 3 and 30. That is 3. And the greatest common factor of x squared and x, which is x. So we're going to divide the terms by 3x. 3 divided by 3 is cancelled. x squared divided by x is x plus 30 divided by 3 is 10. x and x is cancelled. Since the width is equal to 3x, therefore, our length is equal to x plus 10 units. And that will be your answer. Let's have another example. Problems involving difference of two squares. The square of a number decreased by 169 is 0. Find the number. Identify the given, which is x squared minus 169 is equal to 0. Since x squared minus 169 is the difference of two squares, by factoring, x squared minus 169 is equal to 0 is factor x squared minus 169. Since this is the difference of two squares, by factoring, we're going to get the square root of the first term, x squared, which is x. And then, the square root of 169, which is 13. And then, you have the operation plus and minus. That is, x plus 13 times x minus 13 is equal to 0. Find the number. Get the values of x using the two factors obtained. x plus 13 is equal to 0. By addition property of equality, Plus negative 13, both sides. Cancelled 13 and negative 13. X is equal to negative 13. 
And the other factor, x minus 13 is equal to 0. By addition property of equality, add positive 13 to both sides. Cancel negative 13 and positive 13. x is equal to 13. Therefore, the numbers are negative 13 and positive 13. Let's have another example. The problems involving sum and difference of two cubes. The base of a parallelogram is 3x plus 4 centimeter. If the area is 27x to the third plus 64 cube centimeter, what is the length of its height? The given base is equal to 3x plus 4 centimeter and the area is 27x to the third plus 64 cubic centimeter. Find the height of a parallelogram. Let us factor 27x raised to 3 plus 64. Get the cube root of the first term 27x cubed. That is 3x plus the cube root of 64. That is 4. The first factor is 3x plus 4, and the second factor, get the square of the first term, 3x, that is 9x squared, minus the product of the first term, and the second term, 3x plus 4, that is 12x, plus the square of the last term, which is 4, 4 times 4, 16. Since the base is equal to 3x plus 4, therefore, the height of the parallelogram is equal to 9x squared minus 12x plus 16 centimeter. And that will be your answer. Our last example, problems involving perfect square trinomial. The area of a square is 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 square units. What's the length of the side? State the given area is equal to 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 square units. Find the length of the side. Let us recall the area of the square, which is area is equal to the length of the side square. That is, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 is equal to side times side. Let us factor 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. Since this is a perfect square trinomial, we're going to get the square root of the first term, 4x squared. That is... 2x and then copy the operation sign of the middle which is plus next step is get the square root of the last term 9 that is 3 so the factors are 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 or that is equal to 2x plus 3 to the second power therefore the length of the side of the given square is equal to 
2x plus 3 centimeter. And that will be your answer. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.